In this video, let us understand central dogma of molecular biology with a simple sequence exercise. Suppose this is a sequence, a single-stranded DNA sequence. You can write it down along with me for better understanding. We know that from a single-stranded DNA sequence, we can deduce the complementary strand because of base complementarity. Or it is also called as Charkov's rule. Adenine always pairs with thiamine and guanine always pairs with cytosine. So let us write down the complementary strand. It will be A T T A G C T A G C C G like that. Now we have a double stranded DNA molecule. The two strands are joined by hydrogen bonds. The formation of mRNA from DNA is called transcription. Simply, it is a copying of this DNA to mRNA. Let's take this second strand as the template strand for mRNA synthesis. In mRNA, the only difference is in the place of thiamine, thiamine base is replaced by uracil. As you see, T, A, A, here in DNA it will be thiamine, that is replaced by uracil in the case of mRNA. Rest is the same as you see, C, G, A, U, C, G, GC like that. Now we have an mRNA sequence that is formed from this template. The formation of mRNA from a DNA template is called as transcription. This triplet or three letter nucleotide bases are called as codons. So there are codons AUG is a codon, UGC is a codon. A codon is a triplet that codes for an amino acid or a stop codon. Like UAA, that doesn't code for an amino acid, it signals stopping of translation process or protein synthesis as it doesn't code for any amino acid. Now this mRNA is translated to proteins or this code AUG is translated to amino acid code. Let us see, during that process, tRNA acts as an adapter molecule. So this is a tRNA. tRNA has anticodon. You can see this is the anticodon UAC. Anticodon is complementary to the codon of mRNA. So a tRNA with UAC anticodon can bind to AUG codon of mRNA. On the other side of tRNA, there is amino acid methionine. So anticodon codon binding specifies amino acids in a protein sequence. The same thing happens with here also this UGC codon. A tRNA with ACG anticodon that is complementary to UGC binds and adds the amino acid cysteine. This ACG has amino acid cysteine. Same thing happens adding further amino acids. And finally this UAA is a stop codon. That doesn't code for an amino acid, thus stopping the translation process or protein synthesis. Now we have a polypeptide that is joined by peptide bond. It is made up of amino acids and a stop codon. The amino acid sequence is methionine, cysteine, glutamic acid, leucine, then the stop codon. So this much is the amino acid sequence. This process is called as translation as you see this AUG. These are nucleotide, the language of nucleotide and that is decoded to amino acid language with the help of tRNA as an adapter molecule. So this is how biological information transfers in all organisms. As you see, this methionine is coded on the DNA that is transferred to mRNA. mRNA is called as messenger RNA as it acts as a messenger between this DNA and protein. The nucleated language in mRNA is changed to amino acid language in a protein. That is why the process is called as translation. And finally, you can see that this methionine is ultimately coded by this DNA sequence where mRNA acts as a messenger for decoding this information to the information of a protein or amino acid. Hope you are clear. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.